Welcome to day 229 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn Nelson here. And today we're continuing our deep dive into confidence growth. And our topic today is life is statements or life is affirmations. When we select positive, empowering beliefs, it increases our confidence. At least it works that way for me and pretty much everyone else I've ever met. So you have to ask yourself, what kind of overarching beliefs do I have about life and how is that impacting my confidence? Today, our assignment, our action item, our work is to come up with three, three or more life is statements. We're going to do that by looking at our core values, what's most important to us, because that's going to be how we decide what our, our beliefs about life are. And guess what? Some of our beliefs about life aren't awesome. If we think life is hard, life is a challenge, life is a grind, we're going to behave differently and we're going to see ourselves differently than if we believe that life is a miracle, life is awesome, life is incredible, uh, and things like that. I've already done my three, so I'm going to share my three today. And I just came up with them this morning, so it's not like I spent a lot of time and energy thinking, but I did use this process. What are my core beliefs? What's most important to me? Uh, then I'm going to craft my life is statements, and then I'm going to... Uh, make them a daily practice. I'm going to practice them every day for probably a week or so to make sure that they're right for me and that as I try them on, they they resonate with me. They feel right and they feel like they're helping me move my confidence and my life in the direction I want it to go. And if they're not, guess what? I, we can change them. Uh, <clears throat> fourth, we're going to visualize uh, the outcome, visualize what we want based on having this life is statement as an affirmation for our life. If And my first one is, uh, <laughs> actually, my third one is life is for me. I used to say, and I still say sometimes life is rigged in my favor, meaning it doesn't always feel that way when we have certain experiences. But if I look for the lesson in the challenge or the setback or the obstacle or the experience that I'm having that doesn't feel awesome, there's always a lesson in it for me. So I like to say life is rigged in my favor. But today I wrote life is for me, meaning all of the things that happen, all of the people that I meet, every experience I have is for my life, to make it better, to help me grow as a person, to help me be a better human being. Uh, and then finally, we're going to reflect on our progress. Are these life statements, life is statements helping us? If not, we need to create different ones, right? <laughs> Again, like I said, if if life is hard to you or life is a battle or life is a war or things you're going to have a very different perspective and show up in the world differently than if you believe and I'm going to share my three my first one is life is awesome and you might say life is a miracle life is a, a play life is fun life is a book life is a whatever works for you and drives you in the direction that you want it to go especially with respect to our confidence my second one is life is what I make of it uh, that gives me the reminder that I control the choices and the decisions that I make. Now, I also can take responsibility for if I make a decision or choice and it turns out differently than I want or expected, that's my responsibility. So guess what? I just get to make another choice. I get to make another choice. If I say I get to make another choice versus I have to make another choice, how does that make you feel? Every word we use has an impact on us. So it's time to, I think, start paying attention to our language, our emotional reactions. And our language is just a description of our emotional reactions because humans, me included, we are all emotional beings first, feeling beings, and then intellectual beings. <laughs> and then, so life is awesome. Life is what you make it. And life is for me. Those are the three I'm going to try on for the rest of, not this week, but next week as well. And just every day, I'll pick a time during the day that I will say each one of these and reflect on them and say, hmm, is this true? Is this giving me the results I want? Is this moving my mindset from automatically being fed negative junk all day to proactively managing my own thoughts and mind, et cetera, and how I see life, right? You know, the media will try to convince us right now that the world, or at least America, is in absolute chaos and neighbors and neighbors and families are fighting over politics. Guess what? No, no, we're not. Anybody with a brain is not doing that. We're choosing not to participate in the manipulation of the masses and we're just doing our own thing and we're creating our own life is statements. We're not letting someone else create them for us. 
So that's all I've got today. Any questions about this? If you've never done this, it's a really fun exercise. It reminds me of uh, the Betsy Clark figurines. Weren't those the ones that were love is blank or life is, I don't think they say life is blank. I think they say love is whatever uh, from, that's just aging myself right there. But uh, that's what this particular tool and activity and affirmation style reminds me of. But it's our global beliefs that on a subconscious level are controlling us all the time. They're controlling what we even see. They're controlling what we watch. They're controlling our choices and our decisions all the time. So don't we think it's something we should consciously choose versus things that we've just accepted by default as true for us, right? All right. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have an absolutely fantastic day. Excited to see your life is statements. Uh, and what first pops into your head will tell you what you're really thinking. And then you can take that just like when we're thinking what we want. Often we think of what we don't want first. You can take those and flip them around to make them the way you want in order to get the outcomes and the results that you want. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.